Hey there, this is Slingfin Tim, and it is a gorgeous day to walk you through the setup of our new Crossbow Four Season Tent. Your crossbow comes with a stuff sack, tent body with a pre-attached web truss, fly sheet, three DAC 10.65 millimeter PL poles, a pole sack, a pole repair splint, 14 DAC J stakes, two kickstand vent struts, an accessory sack, 12 DAC twist clips, two cross pole pockets, and 10 guy lines. We're gonna go through four different techniques to set up your crossbow. The first is the standard technique. It's the easiest and it works in most conditions. The second technique is what you'll use when you're setting up the crossbow in high winds. It makes it easy to set up the tent without worrying about breaking a pole. The third technique is the fly first technique. This is what you'll use when you're setting up the tent in heavy precipitation and want to keep the inner tent dry. The fourth technique is using the included DAC twist clips instead of the web truss. You'll use this technique when you're setting up the tent in milder conditions and you don't need the full strength of the web truss and your top priority is saving as much weight as possible. To begin, assemble the poles. Don't let the poles snap together during assembly because this can damage the ends of the tubing sections. Make sure all of the sections are fully inserted. Then, lay the tent body out on the ground. We recommend staking it now, but you can do that later if you prefer, as long as it's not windy. Make sure the 7mm webbing at the four corners of the web truss is loosened all the way. Insert the long poles through the web truss and place the pole tips in the grommets closest to you. Then insert the other ends of the poles into the grommets. Feed the cross pole through the webbing loop at the top center of the tent and insert the tip of the cross pole into the webbing pocket opposite you. Bend the end of the cross pole closest to you down until it can be inserted into the webbing pocket nearest you. It may be tight, and that's okay. The tension in the web truss is part of the reason the crossbow is so strong. Once the poles are inserted, tension the four ends of the web truss. This step is necessary when setting up the tent in adverse conditions, and highly recommended at other times in case of unexpected high winds. Next, find a point of reference on the fly sheet to help you orient it correctly. This can be matching up the drawstring vents on the fly sheet and the tent body, the orange reflective starter tab at the head of the tent, or the contrasting black corner stake loop and fly attachment webbing. Next, put the fly over the tent. Before attaching the corners, attach the fly sheet toggles and o-rings around the poles. There are eight toggles along the long poles and one more toggle at each end of the cross pole. The easiest way to do this is starting at the top of the fly sheet and working your way down the poles. It can also be done from the vestibule after the fly sheet has been installed. The toggles and o-rings help stabilize the tent by directly attaching the fly sheet to the poles, and they're especially important when using the internal or external guy lines. Attach the fly sheet clips to the o-rings on the grommet tabs and tension the corners of the fly sheet. The second technique is similar to the first, except you'll detach the web truss before inserting the poles. And this allows you to set up the poles and the web truss in high winds without the tent body acting like a parachute. First, make sure all the side release buckles on the web truss are detached from the tent body and detach the wire gated web truss clips at the sides of the top of the tent body. Then, stake down the tent body. This is important so the tent doesn't blow away during setup. Insert the poles into the web truss as per the previous technique. Then, tension the corners of the web truss. Reattach the tent body to the web truss via the side release buckles and gated clips. 
Attach the flysheet, including the flysheet to pole toggle attachments, as per the previous technique. If it's windy enough to set up the tent web truss first, then it's windy enough to use the pole toggles. It's also possible to reverse the last two steps, installing the fly sheet directly after inserting the poles into the web truss, and then clipping the web truss from underneath the fly, out of the wind. Now, attach the corners of the fly, make sure it's well tensioned, and stake out the vestibules. If it's windy enough to use this setup technique, you should also be using the guy lines. Stake out the guy lines and tension them. Now, you can engage the outrigger attachments by putting one tip of your trekking or ski pole in the ground, adjusting the length so the handle is the height of the end of the cross pole, and fastening the Velcro around the pole's handle. Your crossbow is now bomber and ready to take on the elements. If it's raining or snowing hard when you're setting up the crossbow, you can pre-attach the corners of the fly sheet, allowing you to fully set up the tent without getting the inner tent wet. To pitch the crossbow with the fly attached, lay out the tent with the fly sheet attached at all four corners. Insert the long poles into the web truss underneath the fly sheet. Insert the pole tips into the grommets. Now, install the cross pole from underneath the fly sheet. Attach the fly sheet toggles, guy out the tent, install the outriggers, and you're good to go. The last technique is for milder weather when saving weight is your top priority. Before you leave on your trip, unclip the web truss from the tent body and replace the web truss with the included DAC twist clips. Don't forget to attach the two cross pole pockets to the sides of the tent body. Lay the poles out across the top of the tent body. Insert one end of the poles into the grommets closest to you. Next. I like to attach the top four twist clips so the poles don't fall over when you grommet the other ends of the poles, though this is optional. Insert the other ends of the poles into the grommets. Install the cross pole on top of the long poles by inserting the end into the pole pocket across from you. Then, bend the pole down as before until you can insert the end of the cross pole into the close pole pocket. Set up the fly as before, and you're all set. Remember, if you don't practice before you go out into the field, it's guaranteed to be dark and raining the first time you set up your tent. As always, make sure your tent is completely dry before putting it away for long-term storage. Store it in a dry, dark, cool spot. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch with us at www.slingfin.com.